Hello and welcome here to Monaco for the final quarter, no, third of qualifying. There was a 15 minute session and uh, we're just going to have to try and get it together now. That's a good exit out of, um, uh, I don't know the names of the corners. I know there's a swing pool section, the Raskas and the tunnel, you know, so um, that part of the commentary won't be terribly good. Got away with that. Wow, okay. Michael Massey's the race director here. Hey yo! Hey yo! Oh, wrong gear. Definitely want to stay in fourth break. Oh, a bit of locking down here on my new wheel. Uh, let's just finish this section here because it's pretty uh, it's difficult through the rest, Cass. Uh, yeah, new wheel. Thrustmaster TSXW with the Sparko P310. Uh, you may have seen in the stream last week. It's very good. Very happy with it. Uh, get through here. Uh, but the wheel I'm holding uh, does look very similar to what you're seeing on screen now, and my hand positions are, you know, obviously exactly what you're seeing as well. So that's a good sign. It's early morning, just a bit past seven here in Monaco. Oh, we've gone. Oh, well, we've gone. But we gathered it back up there, just a bit twitchy there on the brakes. Uh, difficulty 120% around this uh, precinct. I just seem to be very fast for some reason. Don't know why, but I just am. Well, in certain parts anyway, but we'll get into that a bit later on here through the Rats cast. Approaching the swimming pool break. Ah, oh, see, now we've been caught up here behind this McLaren. Oh, bouncing off the curbing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just... Let's just go, 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 go. Now I kind of see why they do this in Formula 1. I think it makes F1 look so stupid that they just wait and wait and wait and wait to go. And then I do it here, and then I'm a bit of a hypocrite. Great. Let's see down here. Got away with that one. Nice. Fantastic. So here we are. This next bit, I'm a bit iffy on. You come up over here and then break and then... Down here, third for the first part. You want to stay wide. You want to turn in, and then the car steps away, and then oh, it kicks back on you. Oh boy, it kicks back. Oh, well, let me tell you. Last week when I got this wheel, I tried to take it out on the uh, Notch Life in R Factor Two. Drove um, uh, an RA GT3 around. Oh boy, that carousel really just, really just kicks you. It's like nope, you no longer have control of this. I'm going to nearly make an accident out of this. But here, let's try and focus. This lap plus the next, we'll try and bang out a good one. See, this is very difficult right there again. Just really gets through you through there. Then you want to nearly hit that advertising board. Come on, go, 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 McLaren! Crying out that go, and then this one. Oh, I'm so tetchy because I don't know. Just rubbing there against, and then oh, yes. Like before, I tried this track in this game with this car. I just thought Monaco was overrated. I get it now. I get it now. Oh, it's so good. So much fun to drive. So much fun to drive. You just got to get it bang up right. But that fun sector right there through the rats cast and the tunnel. And all of that is just brilliant. Let's see here what we're we doing. Our oh, fifth cracking stuff. Oh, locking again a bit. Gathering it up here, bouncing it over the curbing. Right out onto the curb on the outside. And then run up the hill past the section of embarrassment for Porsche Super Cup. Down here, see now he's getting away a bit. He's running out wide. Third, down to second. Run it over here and then out wide. Let's get have had lunch in there. Go, 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 go! As Murray Walker would say, break. I guess just uh, approaching a quarter past seven in the morning here in Monaco. Quarter past six in the UK. A quarter past something anywhere else in the world. Oh, kicking out here while this won't be a good sector time or a good that time because that car's far too close and we're approaching our strong section so we just let the car guide it through here sit back relax tap the brake and then brake hard and then oh just let the car don't hit don't hit don't hit that's dropping first 
Come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Giddy up, cowboy. Oh, sorry. Awfully sorry. Didn't mean to do that. But it's a game, so everything is absolutely fine. Oh, I've shat myself. Massively shat myself. I should have been in the fence there. That was fantastic. I've then I'm in the fence there. I have not taken that rat's cats as good as I've done before. Let's just go through here and then mess this up here because now I'm all rumble and jumble. So let's see, is this an improvement with P6 and time is out in qualifying. Have we improved? No! See, we're starting six and that's not the best time I've said on this lap, but hey ho, up she rises, hey ho, up she rises, no, let's not sing. Uh, we've got a 40 minute race, uh, my testing means we'll probably need about 35, that, uh, let's just see here, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, yeah alright, there's nothing else really to do here, let's just go, boom, boom, boom. We've got petrol in the vehicle. We're ready to go. Temperatures, oh, well, tire pressures are looking fine. We're starting P6. This, this is getting fruity. So here we are, lights and green lights are the way we are here down the Monaco, the front straight away. I need to turn one, just break a bit early here and then go hard on the brakes. Right it over there, that might get a track limit speed. No, it doesn't, but I reckon we're still side by side here. The arrows just tend to disappear if you are literally side by side, which is uh, a problem. Also, we've got to keep in mind here around this um, opening lap, uh, there is some difference in the game, correctly so, between your um, tyre blanket uh, temperature green and your sort of, oh, he's in the fence. Oh, hello, touched him a bit, touched him a bit again. Awfully sorry, didn't mean to do, oh, whoa, 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 you parked there, mate. I think we just grabbed the position there, very Schumacher-esque of me. Where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the tire temperature, there is some difference between your tire blank attempts and the ones that you generate yourself. Oh dear. So that's something to keep in mind around here. But here we are right on the Ginetta from Veloce, fresh from a um, championship win in uh, the W Series at Austin. They're now racing here and good for them. The Rask cast that was a good part there as we now go down towards uh, the uh, the, uh, the swimming pool section up here. It's very good for me. And a good breaking down here into the swimming pool section. Through and onto the curbing on the exit there. Excellent work. So see here we're gonna drop some time though here, break. See, oh, somebody was trying to go me into. Oh, we got a wiggle. Oh dear, yeah, they do tend to ram you right there. And um, I don't normally do that. So yeah, we now got our fellow chap right there all over our back door. He might go through at some point and you know, if he does then that's okay too. Right, and then you go in here and then bounce it over that curve and then it's set so then we can just about get out at the right point there and you can take heaps of time. Break and then, oh, and then again, it's very difficult to get that one right. See, this is um, pretty full on, isn't it? What you're seeing also in terms of hand position, all of that is, of course, correct now. So, yep.
my hands are where you see them, same shaped steering wheel, so you're kind of locked in with your hand positions. Oh, here's a good run out of the Razkas. Leaving room on our left side, we've taken him. But he's gonna be right up there again. No, he's not. Now he's gonna be looking, now he's gonna be looking, but we closed the door on him. It's on down the next, Ginetta. Take a bit of a tight line in here, just to try and shut the door on anybody going up or inside making contact with us, and that seemed to have worked. You've got to have patience around this place in every way possible. You can't just have a rush move. And every corner, you've just got to be a bit more patient, slow down a bit earlier. You can't necessarily attack it very hard. Break. Don't want to be breaking on that curb. Oh, he's looking to jump me. Uh, it's very, very hard on tyre wear, too. I just. With these GT4. Oh, massive mistake. Oh, in the fence, Mark Scaife, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ha 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 ha, yes. Get in. This is such a good track. So much fun to drive. Totally get it. Totally get it now. That's too much. That would be... No! right -oh. Thank you. Michael Massey, definitely race director. Just track liberty. What's that? We don't know. Oh, I had a bit of a wiggle there through that corner. Right. This vagina thing. Ah. Okay, let's focus here. Let's run through these laps now. Get them churned up and checked off. Ah. See, pushing just a bit too hard there. Needs to be in third for that. And it's really full on. I gotta remember I've actually been to Monaco and we came in this way. Quite bizarre, I have to say. Just going on and going, oh, this is the Monaco track. We're there now. Okay, cool. Oh, here we go. Getting a good run out of here. Great. Stopping, 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 stopping. The fifth, so that's fourth and third in front. So podium position is in the offing here as it stands. If we can uh, stay with these guys. The leaders are right there and now he's hit the fence. That's not good. See, right there, just pushing a bit too hard. I need to have cleared my braking action through there before I turn in, otherwise it's gonna massively understeer. Ha <laughs> ha, 
so much fun. So much fun. I'm having the time of my life. Right. Now that's not good. That's bad. That's pushing too hard. Let's avoid doing more of that. I've been lucky so far that none of that has caused me any damage, but in a 40 minute race, we don't want to have too much of that around here. Oh, and now that uh, car behind is now all over our back door like a cheap suit. Thank you, James. Oh, the ambience has gone up, that's why tire temperature is looking fine. Let's just turn up ABS a bit, because this kills the front tyre, this place. Oh, he's box, 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 box. He's obviously got damage there through that contact, through uh, the Raskas, which is no good. Uh, the tunnel, we all know the Raskas is right after the tunnel. So that's into fourth. Excellent stuff. Wow, temperature's going up massively right now. Break. Oh dear. Break. And we're locking here as well. Um, I don't know what gear to be in. I have no gears. a bit too hard on the accelerator there. Just push me out a bit. That's the leading battle right there, so we've not dropped off them yet. too hard through the Raskas. It's no good. Oh wait, this is room pool's excellent. I said Raskas before. Hola. Ich bin ein Benina and I'm coming through on you. Hopefully. Definitely seems to be a lot more, more Better to have uh, a front end and go through uh, that section right there. That's the casino square. Yes, it is, because I've had lunch in that park there where we, in true fuck the police style, ate our sandwiches in a park where you weren't allowed to eat your sandwiches. Depressing little place, really, this, unless you're very rich, in which case I'm sure it's probably lovely. But um, suffice to say, I am not, and I was not. Oops. So, yes, indeed. Oh, that's P2 right there, it must be. So, yeah, definitely battling for a top position now. We can just stay with these guys. Oh, he's in the fence there. That's P3, and I reckon he might be boxing this time around to fix that. Although he's got plenty of speed right there. Not 
the man tire racing prepared came in front of us. Oh, we've got the uh, brute coming up the inside. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, big dramas, big dramas in the in the uh, uh, section there of uh, the water thing pool section. Yes, swimming pool section. So we're we're down to fourth. I think we're three right. No, we're not. That's insane. Break. Round the outside. Th that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are. That's fine. I can accept that loss of position to you. If you go around the outside there, you deserve that place. Yes, indeed. again right this might be your first gear section actually so just tap the brakes there because I know he's lower through here so just better to do that lift Definitely got some pretty significant damage to his front end. He just needs to be able to convert that into a position for us, really. Oh no, he's coming in. Whoops, missed that there. Oh, so that wasn't P2 that we had in front of us before. Righto, that was a lap car then. Way over there. We've got to come around our outside. Not anymore. Now, where's the leaders at? Is that also a second gear section? It might be, you know. Oh, we got P-Force all over our rear end. He'll be looking to make his way through. I think we could just about see them as we came down towards uh, the chicane. Let's get our heads down here. Good. So good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Such a good circuit. So much fun to drive. Terrible for racing. Awful, dreadful racetrack. But driving? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, the front runners have just checked out, really. Don't slide. see if I still think I can just see the rear end of the car so we come out here and down towards the chicane out of the tunnel into the chicane here I forgot to brake 
Oh, I can just see them down there. Yeah, they were just down by uh, the Rascas. By the time uh, we came out of the tunnel, I could see them there. So that's that's bad. Just run out here over these parking spots. I reckon P3 will be us unless there is a major upset up front. Well, it's worth checking as we run across the finish line whether or not there's any changes. No. madness to drive around here in a race. Now, sadly, when we went here on a vacation, or on a day trip, really, on a vacation, we were over near saint Tropez, uh, which sounds far posher than we are. We were on a campsite, so that kind of takes it down a bit, but we drove over... Oh, we're closing! Unless, of course, they're not the leading pair. Yeah, we went over here. Um, interesting experience had we didn't do a full lap of the Grand Prix track. That would have been cool. minutes remaining well 1845 um, and still in third that's all right oh a bit of an understeer hey, look at that front tire wear that's uh, significant around this place I mean it's quite odd that the front uh, front right see so much wear on a clockwise circuit isn't it and there are a couple of places that we can use as markers to spot whether or not we really are closing the gaps in any degree of significance it's out of here it's obviously out of the tunnel and then it is after the first corner. You can look up that hill and see if you can see them. That's like the key points really in terms of spotting that. We also want to just back off now. I mean, it's been going for a little while yet, this race, so just have to keep in mind as well that we've got to make it to the end. We're in a good position. We have a, a good gap back, so we really just... Oh, P2! P2! Somebody's pinned it from the front. See you again. we just got to stay in it to win it. It would be quite something if I snatch a win from attrition. And I haven't really punted anybody off. So again, just stay in it here. Just run consistent, run within our own limit. And that, that's not what I mean when I say run within our limits. Don't slide it through there. Slide it through there though. Whoever it is in front that just pit it is now caught up behind some lap cars or traffic up ahead. 
Oh, that, don't do that again. Also, weather is on random. So it could rain. I mean, it is dropping. The temperature's dropping again now. So rain could become a possibility. Oh, drama. Yeah, we've dropped like four degrees. So um, we just got to be mindful of that. I don't want to be surprised by a bit of uh, downpour around here. That's going to end in tears. Now, my friend, what are you? Hey, don't do that. Being boxed in here, this isn't good. This is no good. The AI doesn't really care that you are, you know, lapping them. Doesn't really care about blue flaggery. Are oh, we being taken for position there? Oh, he's on the inside, but no, he's damaged his car. Oh, no! Oh, it's a massive, massive drop down here. We've been squeezed right here. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. If this video isn't 40 plus minutes long, uh, I think we just found the reason why. Are oh, they touching the tunnel? Contact in the tunnel? Huge! Oh, that doesn't sound good behind us. That, that really wasn't the passing place. I left him enough room on the exit there, though, to make it work, and it did. Ooh, shaka, shaka, raka, baka, daka. Oh dear. Is he still on my inside? I don't know. I really don't know where he was there. Because you don't get the arrow when they're next to you, which is quite annoying. Ah, oh, 13 minutes of this. Very much drink. Ah, uh, break. Okay, not a drink circuit. Got it. Not a drink circuit. Don't have time for a drink here. There you go. That's just a bit of drink. Yeah, Sergio Perez, you thought you had it bad at Austin? Look at me, look at me doing a 40 minute race here with just a little bit of a drink. And I've been at work today. You weren't at work, Sergio. You were, okay, fair dues, you were. Still. Ah, oh, Apex a bit early there, I reckon. We got another Porsche Cayman right on our rear end. That'll be a. Uh, no warning there, maybe just because it was so slow that it didn't actually think I got an advantage. A bit slower there again, just a bit uh, of uncertainty. Again, there's still over 11 minutes remaining and that traffic can be a real danger. Uh, oh Christ, that's terrible. There you go, a bit of momentum out of that from a corner.
this one is just tricky. But the leader must have absolutely checked out, gone away, and like, just been like, no, don't want to do this no more. Because uh, he's long gone. Tight. Just give ourselves a bit more help now that we've had a bit of tyre wear. Just try and look after the car and get ourselves to the finish line. I mean, there's now less than 10 minutes remaining. 9.30. Fracking stuff. No point really pushing too hard at this point, is there? Um, I mean, the leader is, you know, too far away. Um, we just have to drive to the point where if somebody catches us from behind, we can actually defend. But also try and mind the tyres. I mean, I know there's uh, not that much left in the race, but tyre wear is still a massive issue. I mean, look at that front right tyre. How much we've worn that down now. Then you can have a mistake like that, of course, as well, which is not helping you one bit. So let's get our groove on here. I mean, it's too much fun bouncing it off the uh, sausage curve and yet to not do it. I know it's not fast. But I'm also, you know, going to do stuff that I think is fun. Just fuck it. You're not my mummy. So let's focus here for these final minutes to turn out some decent lap times. We don't do that by taking that line through there, are we? Is that the leader? I suspect he's moving too slow to be the leader. That's pushing too hard. That cannot be the leader. That has to be another lap car that we need to negotiate. Yeah, see, that, that was my mistake right there again. See, I didn't break when I should have, and now that's cost me quite badly, actually. Um, just want to go in into race strategy. Uh, race strategy, please. Uh, we might want to just prepare a strategy here. Yep, that's that's what we want. We're going to tough it out here. See you again. Yeah, it's it's pretty badly damaged. So let's see here now what kind of uh, times we're churning. Damn and blast and idiot 
things that are very... Oh dear, oh dear, yeah, it's all over the shop now. I mean, at least it's Monaco, so nobody's really going to be able to pass me. And in fact, it's, it's not... I mean, again, that's not bad for Sector 1. We're just going to... Kevin Magnussen and Ring of Andersander it. Just drive a plainly car that should not in any way stand any chance of getting a decent finish. Like a podium position at a street circuit, because fuck it. I mean, that hashtag wobbly rear wing at Long Beach, just plainly redonkulous. Should not have been able to bring that home in that at all. It's mad. Absolute madness. That's how they did. And so I'm gonna do this. Only I don't have a Dutchman to hand over to. Not have I driven in F1, of course, but you know, that's just a minor technical detail. I'm a straight white man, damn it. The work can bend to my will. I could have been in Formula One if I Bloody wanted well to. That's a uh, that car as well, I reckon, up here. That's a bit of body work, isn't it? And in fairness, if that is our main transgression in a 40 minute race around Monaco, I'm going to be pretty pleased with that, to be honest. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. In fairness, he should have moved over. Blue flags. I am Sebastian Vettel now. Blue flag, like, honestly, what are we even doing here? Oh, come on, get the groove back. Two to go, two to go. Uh, two to go? Maybe two to go. Uh, no, because it depends on the leader. So, uh. Oh yeah, it's not happy over them bumps now. But we'll make it work. Yeah, we do definitely have understeer in uh, right hand corners. Should now be commencing the last lap. I don't think uh, whoever's in P1 is that far ahead of us. fairly straight as well it's there's definitely some steering damage but it's not you know hurting it too much I feel like I'm still broadly on the same lap times Although that's definitely hurting again the right hand is not happy with those 
But final lap commencing now, it should be anyway. Yeah, there we go. First ping. I mean, I left you enough room on the outside for you to not run into the fence before. So, I don't know, that's just a bit gaffed. The AI does seem to be a bit iffy about being side by side in those situations. They tend to just want to move over even though there's a bloody great fence in the way. Oh, that's... that was... that wasn't good. Let's see here if it's just race over. P2, come on. Yes, P2! Get in. Get in. Fantastic. Oh dear. Fantastic. Fan dabby doozy. So let's skip the cooldown lap and see. 21 seconds, we were never going to catch it then. 26 seconds, so 5 seconds behind us. Uh, yeah. So, that sees us get 18 points for round 3 of 8 of the championship. Couldn't get uh, part 2 done due to audio issues. Don't know if I mentioned that, but certainly that is the case. Uh, and let's see here. Oh, we are now... Oh, look at that. It's tight in the championship. Two points down to Thiago Ezekiel in the blue and black Ginetta. Then Giancarlo Rampanelli in a Porsche 911. No, Porsche Cayman. And then Gregory Boundy in another Ginetta. Then it's the first of the Camaros with Dave Stevenson in fifth. And Rob Thompson, and then, uh, oh, we've got a Ukrainian, lovely. Um, and we've got another bloke here with no nation. Quite annoying you can't change your flag, but hey-ho. Uh, any other exciting countries that we can spot? Thailand, nice. Uh, and a Dane out here, oh, Mauling. I mean, Mauling, that is, uh, isn't that a name for one of the uh, Mission Impala Challenge drivers in the US? And then India, yes, all right. So, boom, boom, boom. That is it for now. Thank you very much for watching this Automobilista 2 uh, McLaren GT4 around Monaco. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.